So I'm using the uh, Pimix Crystal here, which has built-in Toby eye tracking. It's integrated into the headset. It allows for not only automatic IPD adjustment, which is uh, driven by motorized uh, lenses moving, uh, adjusting the IPD, but it also the eye tracking also allows for dynamic forwarded rendering, which I'm testing here at this moment in Aircar. The eye tracking is tracking where you're gazing, where you're looking, and then it shows the full uh, resolution in that um, spot. Whereas around in the peripheral view, you get a decreased uh, resolution, which uh, of course offloads the GPU and allows for a higher frame rate and better performance and a better VR experience in general. And Toby has done an amazing job uh, integrating the eye tracking modules into the Pimax Crystal. It works in a lot of games. It's not, um, it's on driver level, which uh, means that a lot of Unity games support it out of the box without the developers needing to actually implement the um, support for eye tracking. Uh, in uh, one of our other stations here at CES, we're also uh, showing off a digital combat simulator with the forward uh, rendering together with quad views, which is another version of uh, eye tracking, still driven by the Toby eye tracking, of course. Uh, that allows for uh, even uh, showing a higher, uh, like super sampled image in the center part where you're looking around uh, while the uh, peripheral view has a uh, less, like a degraded um, resolution, which is pretty amazing. And uh, now some people might ask like, do you really notice the difference in resolution when you're looking like, let's say I'm looking to the right and then to the left? No, there's no chance I can see that. The, tracking, the eye tracking is so fast, it just follows my eyes so quickly, so I'm not able to actually see where it switches from, from high resolution to low resolution. Uh, yeah, I hope that makes sense. It's, it's just super fast, super quick. You just get better performance, you get the highest picture quality where you're actually looking while the CPU, the GPU do not have to render the highest resolution in the peripheral view or the, where you're actually not looking at that moment. So it's amazing, really. Great job, Toby.